Good morning, everyone. My name is Joe Wilkins. I happen to serve as one of the senior judges and congratulations, Vulcan Solutions. Um, we are called you back for, um, as a result of your full presentation. Um, we're gonna hear from you on two different presentations. One is a 10 minute presentation. The second is a 90 second presentation. And I'm gonna first overview the uh, 10 minute presentation and then we'll um, hear your 10 minute presentation. And then we'll pause, there'll be no questions and answers. We'll pause for a bit and then go into your 90 second presentation. So I'm gonna begin with, under the 10 minute presentation, you, again, you've been called back by the company to give um, your full presentation to for a second visit. Um, they have asked you to speak only about the ethical aspect of the problem and explain why your solution successfully handles any ethical issues. You'll have 10 minutes, exactly 10 minutes. And again, there'll be no Q and A and you may not use slides or video. Um, you probably don't want more than two or three members to do of the team to do this. So we'll go from there. And uh, I have uh, my clock about 8.04. So we'll have 10 minutes um, after 8.04, okay? You may begin. Hello again, Semex. We at Vulcan Solutions are ecstatic that you would like a better understanding of the ethical dilemmas surrounding our solution, Building with Zero. But first, we cannot stress enough how rare of an opportunity this is. Seldom are companies like Semex faced with the prospect of pursuing profits and employing ethical business practices. However, in this case, that is exactly what Vulcan Solutions is proposing. We spent a good deal of time in our last presentation explaining just how profitable carbon dioxide mineralization through carbon injection can be. That is the process by which CO2 uh, is injected directly into the cement during manufacturing which hardens the, lime, the cement into limestone at a benefit to the concrete strength. Now, as for the ethics, there are two main aspects in this situation. The first is the environment. Now, climate scientists and activists warn that now more than ever, the world faces irreparable damage as human life faces irreversible harm. Semex directly contributes to an industry accounting for almost a tenth, one tenth of the Earth's global greenhouse gas emissions. Of course, as the world's second largest producer of cement, Semex has a responsibility to curb their contribution to that number. And every day that Semex does not actively seek to improve their position in this issue is another day that Semex's right to pursue profit actively impedes on consumers and all living things right to a safe and assured future. Secondly, there are a few perceived ethical issues associated with the implementation of our solution. Certainly, as the leaders of Semex, you have a direct responsibility to all of those counting on the success of Semex. Employees, shareholders, and families could all be at risk if Semex were to fail, either in failing to employ a necessary and revolutionary technology, or of course, in doing so at the wrong time. Additionally, Vulcan Solutions understands how devastating both morally and financially it would be to see a structure built with Semex CO2 cement crumbling on live television. The integrity of concrete is so critical as it surrounds and shelters human life all day and every day. And Semex has a responsibility in maintaining the integrity of their cement. Finally, we know that the safety of your workers is a top concern and implementing a solution that is too dangerous in the name of environmentalism would be unethical if it led to unsafe labor conditions. Clearly, Semex also has a responsibility to their workers. So Hannah, would you like to tell Semex why none of these issues will apply here? None of the issues raised, none of the ethical issues raised apply to Semex with our solution. The, without, without our solution, the ethical issue regarding your negative impact on the environment does not apply. With our solution, you, you can become carbon neutral, where the amount of carbon dioxide that you release into the environment is the same amount of carbon dioxide that you can store in your concrete, making you carbon neutral and thereby allowing you to not negatively impact the environment. Our solution also does not add any ethical issues for you once our solution has been implemented. You will be fulfilling the responsibility that you have to your shareholders. Without our solution, you face the risk of, decre of de decreasing your opportunities in 
in, the, in, the, in domestic and foreign markets with our solution, you can place yourself as a leader in the concrete industry in using in the carbon utilization technology sector. In fact, you, you, you can also increase your profits with our solution as the amount of cement used in the concrete production can, can be decreased and th thereby saving you money. Additionally, the responsibility you have to, to your employees at, at, at your construction plants will be fulfilled. The process of, of, of injecting carbon dioxide into the concrete does not create an additional risk at, at, at a concrete plant. Your employees will face the same level of danger that they face now. And lastly, you have a responsibility to the consumers of your concrete to create strong, safe concrete, concrete that can be used for bridges, homes, and buildings, concrete that won't collapse. With our concrete, even though the amount of cement used has been decreased, it will still meet regulatory standards as the mineralized carbon dioxide actually adds strength so you can save money while still making what concrete that meets regulatory standards. So with our solution, you will be solving the ethical issue that you currently face without our solution, and you will not create any other ethical issues for you. As, as you stand now, you are currently in a conflict of rights, a conflict between your rights as a company and the rights of the people of the world. As a company, you have the right to pursue profits. And as a corporation, that is what you should be doing. You owe that responsibility to your shareholders to become a more profitable company. But you do so at the risk, at, but, but while doing so, you are, imp you're, you are imposing on the rights of the people to have an assured future, if you, a safe future. When you, when you contribute to, when you further contribute to the climate crisis, you are, in, you are impeding on their rights. Every year that you release large amounts of carbon dioxide to make cement, you are, you are further contributing to the climate crisis. And it has been projected that cities will likely be underwater as the climate crisis get, get and goes by. If you, if you continue to contribute to the climate crisis, you will be impeding on the rights of the people to have a safe and assured future, a future where they, where they can be guaranteed to live safely in their homes. However, with our solution, you, do, you no longer have this conflict. You, are, you will be able to pursue profits. In fact, you can make additional profits with our solution while not impeding on the rights of the people. The people, you, you can become, you'll be carbon neutral. So you will not, your impact on the environment does not exist. In fact, you have the opportunity with our solution to, actu to actively help secure the rights of the people of the world to a safe and assured future as the amount of carbon, as you can actually become carbon negative, where the amount of carbon dioxide that you store is actually more than, 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 than the amount that you produce, making you carbon negative. As such, we think our solution is an ethically acceptable solution to your problem. It will reduce the tangible harm that you are currently having on the world through the through, through, through your greenhouse gas emissions, and it will create a tangible good in protecting the environment. And we can do all of this while still pursuing profits and making additional profits. I hope the ethical nature of, the, of your problem and our solution have been made clear to you. Thank you.